Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fulfill AutoDS order manually. So first things first, I'm going to tell you that I've already connected my AutoDS into my Shopify. So the order will be made through Shopify and then it's going to be inputted into AutoDS. And I'm going to show you how you can connect both of them. Here on the AutoDS section, you actually have the options to add some shops by clicking on the store symbols right here. It's right below the AutoDS placement. And then you can go ahead and click add store and you have the options to add Shopify, eBay, Amazon, Facebook store, Wix store, WooCommerce or Etsy. So you can use whatever marketplace you feel are the best for you. I'm going to be showing you how to do it with Shopify for now. So what I did to connect it was I click on this Shopify store option and then it's going to bring me or redirect me into my Shopify and through there I can just continue and follow the steps that shown on my screen. And after that, I can add the product into my Shopify so that my customer will be able to buy a product from AutoDS through my Shopify. Now I'm going to show you what happened if someone does order the product. So here is one of the product that I got from AutoDS and I'm going to go ahead and order it to create some sort of pretend order. So I'm going to go ahead and add the details and finish my checkout. All right, so I've made my orders and I'm going to go back into my Shopify dashboard and then we're going to go to the order section. All right, so now we're going to go to this order sections right here. And as you can see, we got a new order and it's still on payment pending and it is unfulfilled so I'm going to go ahead and click on it and the reason why it's payment pending because I chose cash on delivery as the payment method and in order for this order to be recognized on AutoDS you're going to have to collect the payment first I'm going to mark this as paid all right and then we're going to go into our AutoDS so here is our AutoDS. I'm currently on the product page and I'm going to go into the order page and see if the order has been recognized. All right, so here is the order itself. I got the backpack order recognized into AutoDS and right after you fulfill or right after you request a fulfillment through your marketplace and in my case it's Shopify if you don't see the order immediately don't worry because it happens sometimes it takes some time for the order from the marketplace into AutoDS to be recognized and now in order to make sure that this is not going to be automatically fulfilled which means that the order is not going to be made automatically into the origin place and in this case this bag is actually from amazon because you know that AutoDS is actually a drop shipping platform we're going to want to go ahead and click on edit order and then go to these edit product options right here it's going to bring you into the product page all right so if you go to your product editing section so you'll be able to see a page that looks like this now below it you're going to be able to see an auto order text if you turn it on through your settings so if you go to AutoDS settings you'll be able to see there is an supplier settings right here and you can actually enable auto order and through here you'll be able to allow your orders to be automatically ordered even though you're not going to be the one who manually fulfilled it it does however going to ask you to pay for some add-ons and these are the price so it aids 58 for turning on the auto order it is going to be helpful if let's say you know that the product is something that is going to be constantly on stock or the product has a lot of stock and you don't have to worry for it to be somehow sold out and you didn't realize that the product was sold out doing auto order is going to be helpful but it's going to be a little bit tricky also 
if somehow there are some price changes and everything and you didn't realize it and you didn't change the price change on your own marketplace and again in my case going to be shopify then it means that you're going to get losses instead of gain instead so that is how you can turn on and off your auto order you can do it through the setting or through the product page itself now once you've got your auto order settings turned off you can then go ahead and fulfill this order manually and you can do that by going to your product page go ahead and click on edit and then you can click on this amazon symbols right here and it's going to bring you directly into the amazon product page through here you can create your order so you can go ahead and click on buy now and ask for the customer's details once your customers buy it through your marketplace you'll be able to see the contacts the name as well as the address and all you have to do is add this address into amazon just for the record, these are a totally random names and totally random address that I put here for the sake of this tutorial. So you're going to want to add a new address, put on your region, put on the name of your customers, put on the address, city, states, etc. And then you can continue and follow the steps from there. All right, so I'm going to conclude this one more time. In order to fulfill your AutoDS order manually, all you have to do is turn off your auto order if you do have it turned on. And once again, you will know whether you have auto order turned on or not. If you go into your product settings and you found an auto order text right here, or if you go to the supplier setting and then you found this order sections and you got auto order turned on, then you know that you have the chance to get your order automatically fulfilled through its original supplier. And if you don't like that, you can always turn it off. And then once you got the auto order turned off, you can then manually enter the details of your customers into the Amazon product page and you can go to the exact product page of that product by going to your product page on the AutoDS and then click on this supplier symbol and it's going to bring you automatically into the exact supplier page and in this case it is amazon and it might be different from you it might be ebay or any other things but the placement of the link is going to be the exact same place and then you can just order your product manually through here and you can see the details of your customers on the orders of your marketplace and that's basically it that is how you can manually fulfill orders from AutoDS. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.